Okay, here's a couple double lift finesses you're actually going to use because unlike a lot of things in this genre, they work and they're practical. Okay, I'll just show you a couple of them. Uh, this is the deck one. Card spins, and it actually works. It's a double lift. And now here's the big boy right on the table. Okay, double lift, spin. Why does this work? Well, you turn the card over like a... Uh, this is the first time I ever saw anyone pick up cards like this was Daryl Martinez doing a double lift. He did something like this. And the reason this is so good is uh, what happens is instead of just flipping it over, you're going to give it a nice good crimp as you hold it in the non-index corners, a nice downward crimp as you, before you flip it over or as you flip it over. That creates a, a non-symmetrical crimp, unlike these you know, symmetrical crimps, that will resist forces in all directions, okay? Separating forces. Because if you think about it, you're creating a little miniature wall here, a little curve, uh, and the same thing here. And those react in a radial fashion. It's very cool. And because of that, that sucker will stay together. You can actually calmly wait for those cards to come slow down. And same thing with the table. Now, I'm going to show you the actual technique to do this. After you do the turnover like we've discussed with that nice crimp, drag it back a half inch. Index finger goes down on the top. And see my left thumb? It's going to kick the card. Now my left hand goes completely flat. See that? I'm going to kick the card, the double counterclockwise with my thumb as I lift my index finger up, okay? Keep your hand horizontal and flat. Double. Look at that. It'll stay together. These are uh, cards right out of the box, too, so you should, you know, use cards at least broken in for half an hour. I don't recommend doing it with brand new cards, though it will work if you're, if you're careful and precise. Now, the table spin, pretty much identical, the same thing. You do the crimp as you turn it over, put it down on the table, your index finger, my nail in this case, is on the card, but it doesn't matter if you don't have a nail, it'll still work because you're going to lift that nail finger up as you kick again counterclockwise. So the only difference here, I think, is I kind of snap the card off my second finger and then do the kick. Okay, check that out. That's a thing of beauty.